Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, we are on Tower of Atlantis now. We are officially chapter off in. the grid. Oh, oh look at that. Do you see that? That's a Celsius gauge. You, you want to freeze to death? You sure can. You're getting there. I mean... Stand by fire. I mean, freeze to death or keep Wait taking... a minute. Wait, I you... hate this. You don't freeze in space. Or on a planet. Oh, well, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, then you have to explain that. Helmet malfunction. Okay. He... Yeah, yeah, his helmet malfunctioned, so I was like... Uh, I mean... His face is exposed to the elements right now. And there's a bunch of holes in his suit and stuff because he got all messed up. Yeah, okay, that's so fair, yeah. That, yeah. that makes more sense. I, I, my complaint is more, I hate this gameplay element entirely. <laughs> this is stupid. You, you have uh, to mean, warm yourself up on the cliff by doing a little dance. You have to warm yourself up by just standing in the fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to literally burn to live. Well... Freeze to death, or keep playing Dead Space 3. I'm currently weighing my options. That's what oh Just no. fall asleep, and then you won't wake up. It'll be fine. That's the dream. Uh, hey, my body temperature's rising, though. Just enough to make sure I don't die in a QTE. Could you imagine if you had a low it, your body temperature low enough, and then you died in the QTE? You just you were just ragdoll bid QTE. Ellie, Ellie, yeah, are you there? Ellie, get on the pallet. <laughs> Wrong game. Huh? So Don't trust random voices. Does anyone else remember what the whole point of what happened during all of Dead Space One? And two. And two. Especially two. Or, well, no, different kinds of voices. Yeah, so, they, 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 mostly one. They were different. They were. Look, they represented different things, okay? They, yeah, yes. One was a vastly superior game. Then, what, between one and two? No, this 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 trash heap. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I'll play Dead Space 2 in vastly, anyway. both, both were vastly superior games compared to this trash heap. This dumpster fire rolling down the street. Hang on, let rolling me, down the I, snowy mountain. I gotta get, I gotta get the items. Hold on. All right, bye, robot. He just fell into the snow. He's, he's going, he, he's going to get me crafting materials. Because he's a good boy. I don't know my body temp. Ellie, yeah. I'm dying. Oh look, my body temp. <laughs> because standing by a fire will instantly oh God. raise oh no. your body temp. A dead body. Oh god, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh wait. It's just a secondary character. Oh, thank god. Okay. L word for word. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank god, it's some guy I don't give a shit about. <laughs> I, I, I mean... Thank god it's... Yeah, magic. Magic. That's cold. It, yeah, but, but that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Gallop. <laughs> You're wonderful. Uh, I mean, why is this fire not heating me up? Because you're too what far the from. Fuck! I hate this game. Because that is a special kind of that is cold fire. That's plot fire. Oh look, a flare. I. I'm gonna die from hypothermia. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's a big one. Owie. Ow. Owie. 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 Ow. Ow. Good thing I'm landing on my suit and not on my face. And it's, good thing and your body gone. temperature conveniently stopped falling for that. Illy. <laughs> Can we not do the Last of Us references just because of the name? No, I'm just saying Ellie. Yeah, but you do it in the accent. <laughs> I know. I'm trying not. I'm trying not to. I was trying to just say Ellie. 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 Da 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 da. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. But I need items first. 
You're a cold man. Very. Is it a reference to the second game, or do I just not remember an accent in the first game? For what? Last of Us. Oh, no. No, he, he had an accent. He had, an, he, had a, he had a big old accent. Okay. He had a 10-inch accent. Do you know that? Bullet's gun. I, wa I watched the game once years ago, and that's my only experience with it. I haven't played all of The Last of Us. I'm going to replay it at some point. Actually, I don't. Uh, no, I haven't played The Last of Us. I've just seen bits and pieces of it. I have to play that game. Anyway, yeah, he just, he's got a thick old axe in there, game. Yeah, 10 inches. Yes, 10 inch, 10 inches. 10 inch accent. Really? <laughs> oh, thank God, yeah. toilet. Uh, Ellie, is that you? Are you in range? God damn it. Hey, bitch. Yeah, it's a toilet, but sadly, we're out of toilet paper. Hey, that's what uh, your uh, non dominant hand is for. Gross. And the pipes are frozen, so you can't really just wash it off. There's snow outside. That's all the washing it off you need to do. Snow. It's just very cold. Uh, so the rip core is your ripper, if you wanted yes. one of those. But we don't have enough tungsten, unfortunately. We'll get N it. Pneumatic torch is fire. Hydraulic engine is uh, punchy. T telemetry spike is uh, bolts, like javelin spike. launcher. So there's did a, they nerf the rip the ripper in this game? I I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I spent the entire game with a shotgun with a rocket launcher on it. I fuck if I know. <laughs> Figured I'd ask. I don't know. Uh, I'll play this trash heap. Uh, so you can get a fully automatic pulse rifle, a burst fire submachine gun, or an automatic rifle with deadly precision. And eventually, I'll be able to put a rocket launcher on this. Uh, I can also make a sniper rifle, which I actually um, do want on there. Eventually, this will become a rocket launcher with a sniper rifle attached because that's how uh, I play video games. Neat. At least you're not freezing anymore. I'll essentially have one gun for necromorph killing and one gun for human killing. Don't take that one out of context, please. TLG out of context. <laughs> For some game, reason, my mind wanders to how that's like. That's kind of how you want to play Vagrant Story is having different weapons for different types of enemies. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a cool idea. I just hate the concept of throwing humans at me in a Dead Space game. Yeah. It's yeah. like the lamest shit possible. It's not good. I've got to sneeze. Oh no, human enemies. Bang, bang. Anyway. It's, it's like, oh no, people who are particularly susceptible to getting their limbs cut off even more than the zombie monsters. Well, this isn't good. Actually, oh, it's very good. It's pretty good. We're just trying to, uh... I like how fast the body temperature is dropping. Hmm? Very realistic. Uh, it, that's more realistic than your body heating up that fast. Yeah. Because if it's uh, cold enough, your body temperature can drop. I would really like to bad. take a second to acknowledge one cool thing. Uh, that does not look like a particularly human head, now does it? No, it don't. No. I guess Ta Tal Volantis had a native population at one point. I suppose. I don't know what the words you said mean, but I guess you're right. There were aliens on it before the humans colonized it. And like, and like, and they were probably like, like this will never be explained, I imagine. But they, they were probably initially infected by Dennis. the yeah, 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 by by, by the thing. Uh, I'll give this game a little bit of credit. It explains a lot more about these aliens than you seem to want to give it credit for. Oh, cool. I mean, oh. excuse me. 
Well, I mean, as cool as this game gets, I guess. I mean, it's relative. You're listening to the Aloha Station. You'd much rather be somewhere warmer than cold at this current moment. Aloha. Or Did just you know? in general, really? Could you imagine someone playing uh, who is a fan of these games playing this in like the tropics? They're like, oh, this looks awful. First time I played this game, I'm pretty sure I lived in Florida. Like, <laughs> I live in Missouri. And there, there is currently several inches of snow outside, and I still think this is terrible. It would be terrible. <laughs> this is infinitely less preferable than what I do, than what I'm living in real life. I would, yeah. I would not want to live on Tal of Atlantis. At least I don't get jumped by alien zombies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's warmer. Yes. I can walk outside for more than like a minute before it's before freezing to death. I'll just I wa- mean, I'll just want to die. It's different. <laughs> yes, I mean, it wanting to die, like it, but wanting yeah. to die and actually being close <laughs> to physically harming yourself uh, because you're out in the snow is are two very different things. Oh dear. I feel like he shouldn't be as tough because he doesn't have a helmet right now. Well, that would be intelligent. Yeah, yeah. It sure would, wouldn't it? That would be that would increase the tension to make you weaker. That would be an infinitely more interesting experience than my body temperature lowering, actually. Y- yes. Yeah, like actually, your that would be a, man. That would be a really interesting way to introduce a a scaling difficulty in a game. Is that your like armor gets messed up? So you get the start of the game where you, the easy win by you not really getting hurt much, and then you get hurt more to ratchet up the difficulty. And there's even like a reason for it. Yeah, because yeah, as stressed. your armor gets more wrecked, your armor can't protect you as much, and thus you might get more health, but you take more damage. Or at least it'd be a cool set piece, you know? Sure. Like well, yeah, uh, my armor. Yeah. Oh, armor broke. Now I take a lot more damage until I can get it repaired like I'm gonna do anyways a fucking snowsuit is required past this point it sure would be nice to have one of those wouldn't it why a snowsuit is not required before this point is beyond me yeah I mean really yeah yeah this is the game telling you like you will freeze to death if you even try this so yeah and, and, and like, it explains the Varia this suit. Yeah, yeah, and, and like, not, not that, and not requiring like a Arctic suit. Like, this was a military base, and like, the regulations would be a, like. Hold on, primary characters, characters dying. Awesome. Hi, Nick. What <laughs> Where is everyone? They headed for a research facility up the ridge. We found snowsuits, but they weren't snowshoes. So I decided to stay behind. There might be more down in the basement. <laughs> might be. Uh, the elevator shot, and we heard something scratching around down there. So we didn't. Sniper rifle. Buckle. He just froze to death. Yep. Uh, wow, that was a very short chapter. Yep. Say goodbye to the first of the primary characters. If you even want to consider him a primary character, he's I don't even remember that guy. He was on Ellie's crew. He was the injured one that they had to limp away. Oh. Uh, he also talked to us when we were doing the the tower with all the traps in it. He was the guy talking to us. Oh. That's sad. No, it's not. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is either, so I don't really feel that bad. I, I mean, probably, I feel bad imagine if bad. imagine if we were playing as Ellie and had to I don't know, like, I actually know who that person is, and there been like an oh no, don't die kind of thing. Like yeah, yeah, but like Isaac has known this guy for what a day? Not even. It's been like a couple uh, hours. Hours. <laughs> Five like, yeah. to seven hours. 
It's like my problem with the intro to FF13, and it was even worse in that case because they could have introduced us to a bunch of the characters that get killed off in the intro with, like, the flashbacks that just end up happening later. If they just front-loaded with that, then I would have actually cared. <laughs> yeah, All these just, people die. This game did a really good job of introducing us to characters and then killing three of them off before we even know who they were. At least they don't try to make you post-mortem care about them afterward. Question mark? I don't think he ever gets brought up again, which is almost worse in a way, because it's like, wow, no one gave a shit about you, huh? Yeah, I mean... Hooray! Isaac only cares about Ellie, apparently. I mean, to be uh, fair, we all only care about not, Ellie. Not, not to spoil, but no, he, he expresses disdain at the death of other people. It's just this guy, he's like, whatever. So no reason. And also the... Also, oh, thank God, that one, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that guy. That guy got the short end of the stick. I mean, that guy actually, was actually, kind of an asshole, but damn. He might have gone the quickest, though, because, like, half of his face was cut off, so he saw, like, his brain, so he probably died pretty quick. The other girl just exploded. That's rough. But at least it was probably the quick and overall least painful way. I mean... The explosion? Yeah. Yeah. You know... And, like, the guy that, like, got, like, half his face cut off, the way, like, Ellie acted, like, she still thought she could save him. No, nah, dude, she, so, pulled, she pulled the thing out of his head and threw him on the ground to take yeah. over his seat in the nav. She yeah. wrote him off as dead, too. No one gave a <laughs> shit about that guy. <laughs> fridge is empty. Slowly opening fridge. All right, so here's fun. Uh, you can stealth past these guys. I hate about that bullshit. Oh, they're licorice. Yeah. Yeah. How? Reload. Get off me. They're also so pitifully weak that all it took is one health kit and some shotgun ammo. And if I had the grenade launcher, I would have wiped all of them in one go. That would have been cool. Uh, so something that could be intimidating, a uh, thing that can swarm you like that, uh, and that you'd still pass instead is uh, law shotgun. Maybe hard mode would actually change your perspective on some of these encounters, but again, it's the whole thing of you, you, we don't really like this game enough to care. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want my perspective to change because the rest of the surrounding game is still bad. Hiding in the dark. All it would do is make you hate it more because you would die more and have to redo parts of it. This would be an awful game to grudge match because uh, yeah, yeah, not a chance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. just just now. Is that you? There, there is zero point. You, you would literally just be ramming your head into a wall for no reason. Uh, I would be bored. Is what the problem is. The fun of a grudge match is that it's something that I actively want to do, even if it's like both of the grudge matches we've done up to the point where we're recording this were games I liked. The time, what is a game I don't like? I just LP it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looking for a snowsuit. Yeah. Looking snow for suit. a snowsuit. Hey, let's try out that sniper rifle. Yep, he's dead. I'm surprised there wasn't an achievement for playing the hard mode. There might be. Looking for a snowsuit. Oh, I Looking thought you, it looked like you had all the achievements. In this game? No. And some are multiplayer only. That's dumb. Oh, yeah. yeah. there's co-op stuff, and I've never played this game co-op. Because every time I'm like, hey, you want to play Dead Space 3 with me? Someone's like, what the fuck? Never talk to me again. 
and then I signed up to do that at some point. Yeah, I would wait to pull the trigger on that purchase to see if I even oh. want to buy the- like, if I even oh. want to play this again. Oh yeah, like, I have- yeah, look, look, you know, like, for the record- Ed's needs his new computer, too. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, I have offered to do it, but I'm not necessarily committing to like, oh yeah, let's do this immediately, because no. What? We haven't even finished First, it. We haven't even finished this yet. There's no immediately. Yes. Or is there? No. No. No, there isn't. <laughs> the answer is no. The only reason I'm doing the DLC back to back with this is because the DLC is really fucking good. With, with in perspective of the gameplay elements, it has to work around. That sounds I mean, normal. I could just upload the rest of the backlog, so then like this doesn't actually get uploaded for like six months, and by then you've done the multiplayer. Nah. I actually want I'm this to go out relative, uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I figured we'd probably just start uploading it when it's done. Yeah. Yeah. We're done. Or at least, like, decent progress. Uh, it is a decently length game, so I'll probably... I'll have to throw some of it at you before it's, uh, done. I, but yeah, I figured this one would be one that just kind of goes up. Yeah. Not really a backlog guy, which is why I've refrained from mentioning uh, too many things we've done. Yeah. Every, we've done everything. All the games. We do it all. Except the things we don't do. Which is nothing. I, I mean... We've played all the games. Yeah, all, all of them. Every single every one game. of them. Every, if you see a player... Oh, no. which, Monopoly. I'd do it in a one-off. Connect Four. I know. I'd do. A, I'd do a one-off of all of those, except maybe Monopoly. That's a little much. Monop oh, yeah. 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 Like we. The what, game of it, life. I'd say. Oh, dude. I'd. I'd do board game yeah. one-offs. I don't know. Yeah. 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 yeah There's a really yeah. accessible way to do Connect Four too. <laughs> We should do. Oh my God! Could you imagine if we did Connect Four in character as Ragey and Masao? Oh boy, <laughs> that would be funny. That'd be something. That'd be an. That's an idea. Clubhouse Games on Switch. That's true. We could do a Clubhouse Games one-off, dude. That'd be sick as fuck. Things that we talk about but probably won't do anytime soon because probably oh, not if you see in our to-do list you'd be like what the fuck are these guys doing <laughs> yeah like what are you guys doing are you insane yes yes, yes we stop are stop adding new projects <laughs> stop coming up with new ideas you degenerates just focus on what you're doing well, you're you, so clever you can't make me you can't make me stop we can't stop save us okay. Help me. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You are my only hope. I'm past hope. saving. Well, as long as you know. <laughs> Gen Jenny. Jenny. Jenny, I'm... Nope. No, it is... Jenny. I love you, Jenny. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. <laughs> Stop making me shoot, Jenny. I don't think one of those was Jenny. No, Jenny's the name of the gun. What's well, what I'm naming? I like the how you're I'm defeating them by just punching all of them. <laughs> Smash, 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 smash. I will flail wildly. And, and I will live. And I will win. <laughs> I will flail wildly, not not uh, using the game's mechanics, and I'll still win. I just stuck. Oh, I think stuck. I was about to say, if that's how you died, I would have laughed very hard, and I would have felt really bad at the same time. It still would have been funny. 
Yeah, this whole segment would Might the, not have been too funny. It depends on how far back the checkpoint was. That's true. This whole segment would have been a lot more entertaining if we were taking more damage, so there was a reason to stealth past those guys instead of me just hitting the right trigger and meleeing all of them. Yeah. yeah. With your fist. Specifically, your right fist. I, I don't know. It was pretty entertaining to see that you could literally just flail around wildly yeah, and win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're dead. I mean, it's funny, but it's like... It, we're not playing a game that should be very funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... Snowsuit? The Arctic survival suit has been unlocked. Snowsuit! Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme. Is it just me, or is this, like, infinitely less satisfying than the shops where when you'd walk this out is... of them? This is stupid, is what this is. Yeah. I miss the shops, dude. Oh, Isaac has his head back. Yep. The, the, Arctic, the Arctic survival suit's helmet works. Oh, look, he has fur because, you know, Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Persona? No. Persona. That's a, that's, a, that's a different LP. That's a different LP. <laughs> This might come out in... I think this will come out in time for people to go, Wait, what LP is that? <laughs> that, 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 is what, that is what I'm... That's what I'm hoping for. Just you wait for the... The first Sona LP. Get out of my food bag, you cat! That was my dinner. Nom nom nom. I'm trying to eat my chicken that's I've already eaten. Get out of here! Get out of here! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Nobody did, cared about you. Did anyone, you died on more. Did anyone but me know his name? Uh, I didn't. I okay. didn't. Okay. A prize. I'm also bad at remembering names, though. But I also genuinely don't know if I ever knew his name. They have said it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Now your temperature's not dropping anymore. Oh yeah, the dumb mechanic's over. Now we just play a video game. Wait a minute. Yeah, we gotta go back. Side quest? Side quest. So if you were playing co-op with would the fan fiction character be with you or would you have to find him i believe he's with you but i honestly have no idea there's never a point where you're like one person's playing alone mm, okay. that's that's great that this entire time we've not seen that character and they're just gonna pop up somewhere with no fanfare yep yeah with no fa and, and he'll leave just as quickly. You would you would think they would like program an AI into him because he could have conversations with Isaac as they're running around. There's probably like a bunch of conversations that characterize him a lot more that I've just never heard. Mm. Probably. It's just a dumb way to do it. Oh yeah, I know. It's awful. That's I mean, that's kind of going on the assumption that there is extra dialogue for multiplayer mode, which would there be? I'm sure. I'm I'm fairly I'm fairly sure that there is a uh, character dialogue between the two of them. Man, this um, sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Just keep on um, going. Uh, I believe find out eventually, I guess. Because his character he's one of the only characters with an arc in this game. Um, being one of the, you know, th playable characters, he gets an arc. And it's really weird in single player, as you can imagine. Mm-hmm. So I imagine that they, it, the idea is in multiplayer. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. He, conversations he had with him. But in single player, it's just like, yep, he, uh, 180s in personality. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Side quest. Scaff. Sovereign colonies. Something, something. Scaff. Yeah. Optional mission. Da, da, da. The supply depot. Find the stash supplies. Remember, you cannot stop until this optional mission is done. Yes. Yeah. Or else you will have to go and redo all of this again. I'd rather not. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Is there a workbench back this way? I think my robot son is back. Both of my robot children are back. All the things. What good boys. Good girls? Good boy and girl? Uh, sure. And, or, my, my and or girls. My children. Yeah. Yes. That is all I know. Uh, let's stick a ripper on this bad boy. Nice. Fire saw blades that cut horizontally. Ooh. Fire the suspended saw blade for quick cutting. That's what I want. The default ripper. Old, old reliable. None of that. So we'll have a line. We'll have what amounts to a line gun with a saw underneath of it. I'm just out for a rip, are you, bud? Oh, I'm going out for a rip, bud. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, All right, I'm never changing this gun again. <laughs> we'll just be changing this gun a lot. The, set, the not plasma cutter. Going out for a rip, are you, bud? <laughs> Look how stupid that looks. Look at this, Look at this dumbass thing. <laughs> Rocket launcher with a sniper rifle eventually, and then I'll have a plasma cutter with a saw blade attached. Blade. We spent so much time asking, yeah. could we? We never stopped to ask, should we? The answer is yes. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't re really argue with that. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Look at these fools. You're no match for my power. Ow. You foolish fools. Bear me in my circular saw. Until they get you from behind. Oops. I mean, he doesn't have a circular saw coming out of his back. Jokes on them. I like it that way. Though, if you could, like, um, upgrade your armor, that would be a good way to do it. Just, like have like the ripper like hit another button and it like you, I you just need a saw blade rotating around your whole body personal space <laughs> it's my bubble <laughs> this is my bubble <laughs> ripper uh, yeah, did it, I miss Jack oh there's Jack <sighs> and he and he works like a charm does record. he oh yes. yes that's good we like Jack Jack was old faithful in dead space one Kinda got nerfed in Dead Space 2. Jack works well in Dead Space 3. He's on he, he sits on the bottom of a plasma cutter. That is perfect. It really is. 
I think that's okay. I think that's good. Yeah, everybody said I'm never changing that gun again. Hello, good sir. Go away, Kevin. Uh, you too, Bob. I hit B. Oh. I hit B to heal and didn't do it. Oops. How far back? Just a room. Not too far. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not we're not redoing an encounter. Yeah, that is good. There's like a whole bunch of audio logs I could show you, and you get a backstory of what happened here. But if any of you care, I'm sorry, but I don't. I stopped it, pairing the moment you said this game was bad, and I saw it was bad. The moment you confirmed its poor quality. The moment I confirmed it's poor quality, I said, no. I didn't probably. I mean, I don't truly care, but this is a military base with a necromorph infestation going on, so I imagine it's a lot of, like, Soldiers trying to fight them, a lot of dying, and a lot of becoming necromorphs. Well, I think the idea is supposed to be, why are there weird sacrificial altars on the wall? That's spooky for a military base. I just don't give a shit. Um, right? it, 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 it is like the, um, the, the, Bigger jiggers. It is seen as religious artifacts, and this heart. Who so who they, they seem to be like like altars and obelisks to some dark god. So I, I mean, yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. The um the pillars, the markers. Thing, yes, the markers. Yeah, it's all related to the markers. That's that's not a surprise to anybody. Yes, it is the markers, and like they hear the voices, they get some dark, dark Lovecraftian type god, and the sacrifices begin. I'll tell you, you're a little off the mark with the Lovecraftian type top type god oh. thing. Oh. It, it's not that clear cut and simple. That is. I don't understand why the mark, why the expo markers are. Uh... Never mind. That's not even. Yeah, that, that's not a bit. That's not a bit. <laughs> Just let that one go. I did. I did. I let it go. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad that I finally got Plasma Cutter to be old reliable again. Hey, get out of here! You too! Marcus. Doing things like that. That's pretty much the cycle of this game, and you have the, the plasma cutter plus whatever combination of second dare you effect you want it to have, and then a gun that you do stupid shit with. I know you're, you're a Midwesterner, but I felt like you slipped into New Yorker for just a second there. <laughs> hey, get out of here! Can't you see him walking here? He suddenly became Joey Wheeler. Brooklyn Rage? I actually found out the other day that they actually released some uh, nor vanilla Yu-Gi-Oh monsters whose card descriptions were written as if Joey were saying them. Huh. <laughs> Wacky. The Flame Swordsman! <laughs> Are you attacking my chair, you little shit? When you're playing for bracelet, hey, I need that for work. And by I need that for work, I mean I got it from work. And by that, I mean stop it, you cat! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Stop it! <laughs> no. Peace here, fuckery, feline. Meow was innocently. I know better than that. <laughs> can't, you can't fool me with such 
<laughs> I need words. <laughs> it's fucking nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. nothing. Thank you. Nothing. <laughs> It's the nine ball. It's the nine ball. Is it? It's the nine ball. I would have rather it have been the nine ball, honestly, than just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing is kind of an unsatisfactory reward. That, that game was more fun than this one. Uh, I agree. I had infinitely more fun playing Michigan than I had mm -hmm. playing Dead Space 3. I always have more yeah, fun there's... playing those games than I have playing games like Dead Space 3. There's bad fun games, and then there's just bad games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, if you ask me, mm, would you play, like, Code Veronica or Dead Space 3 or something like Michigan or Extermination again? I'm picking the latter two every time. Mm -hmm. I had to... No, I Extermination to... had its share of frustration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's just nature playing, like, bad horror games sometimes. You're gonna get some frustration. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, that, that game had enough fun that I was like, I would, I'd still pick it over fucking Denisu. Denisu. I would pick it every time over Band, then yeah, Bandersnatch Bander Snatch smacking me from across the room yeah. that I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> Extermination also created the, the, the Dennis the voice. Dennis, right? Dennis, Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, here I am, Sydney. Live right here. So I went looking and I found, uh, I found the, I found an example of the Joey Wheeler flavor text on some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So this is the card description for Alligator's Sword. Hey, this mighty lizard man can swing his sword so fast that it's gonna, d that it's more than the speed of sound. Brooklyn Rage. Yeah. Brooklyn Rage. I, uh... Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's it's funny that one of the one of the plot lines in this game is Isaac getting a little bit Dennis. With Isaac becoming Dennis-y? Mm-hmm. Because of... Uh, alien. 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 Ellie. I'm, I, I'm so much better than the than this guy. I'm so much better than this guy, Ellie. I'm gonna protect you from the the necromorphs, Ellie. I mean, like, I am the actually an engineer. Anything Ellie. to like suggest the other guy oh. is truly a bad person. Well, he just turned into, like, the high school jock guy. Like, she's mad. You stay away from her. I mean, so far, he's just kind of an obnoxious dickhead, so that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Three, she did eight call of Isaac us. a nerd in the second game, too, didn't she? she I, I, Ellie did call Isaac a nerd in the second game. Oh, Cindy. It, or not Cindy. Ellie. Oh, Ellie. <laughs> Go, Ellie. But I am a nerd. I, I have an engineering PhD. Don't you like my engineering degree? It's a piece of paper I got from a university on Earth. It's probably a hollow paper, actually. Uh, space tech. But I have, I have the actual piece of paper that they sent me. It cost me so much money to get just this piece of paper. Why I live in this piece of shit apartment? <laughs> I can't even afford popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Isaac. You deserve better That's than rough, this. That's man, if you can't afford popcorn. Isaac deserved better than this. Y yeah, Isaac <laughs> did. He sure did. Remember that Isaac really well-rounded, really, really well-written character arc he went through in Dead Space 2? Based entirely in his ex- Well, it's based entirely in his experiences in 1. Yeah. 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 Now, he's, mm -hmm. now he's just got a stupid love triangle. Mm-hmm. That's uh. a shame. Yeah. Look at how they massacred my boy. My boy. Now I have a, a, a snowsuit with a fur collar. Mm, yeah, I wish you'd pop it. It's even sort of weird, a weird clash of characterization when I look at the fact, too, that 
The very first log you can get in the game is written by Isaac himself, and it implies his attitude towards the whole thing seems kind of like, yep, makes sense she would leave me, but then he's all, all like, mad about it. And he's all salty. I would prefer self -lo like a self-loathing arc for a man who went through so much shit and failed to save so many people than this, like, m macho bullshit versus macho bullshit thing they're doing. Yeah, that would have been infinitely better and made sense. Like, he failed to save so many people, massive survivor's guilt, and then he couldn't even manage to have a relationship after all of that. I would have taken that character arc over a love triangle bullshit any day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would have been a lot more exciting. You're telling me. Has there ever been, like, an enjoyable love triangle plot? Uh, only when it's the entire focus of the show. Like, a show built around it, not just a stupid yeah. subplot. Yeah, like, the Macross series, like, actually, yeah, they're, they're basically a love triangle, but they're, like, not obnoxious about it. I mean, uh. yeah, yeah. You know. Never watched Macross. Good series if you like um like um mech stuff and like actually like a whole bunch of like like singing and stuff and it's like no, no, no. Let's make actual a, legit like J-pop. Let's, let's make a let's make a pulse rifle for a while, why not? Sounds good. There's probably been there's probably been love triangle plots I've seen that I didn't mind as much as others, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. They are a trope that I do not care for most of the yeah. time. Yeah, 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 the Gallifrey yeah. hyper love triangle is still ongoing. There's a lot going on there. I I didn't realize that was uh that was ongoing. Is it? I don't know if it's a love triangle. I think we fi have we figured it out, Gallif. I assume there's just some polyamorous nonsense going on over there. Not that all poly stuff is nonsense. <laughs> Brute gets <Yeah>. cancelled again. <laughs> I got cancelled in the last thing we did. Guess it's Brute's turn. Immediate yeah, yeah. backpedal. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> I, 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 I like, mean, no, wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> polyhamory is not nonsense as long as everyone is consenting and on the level. It's, not, it's not nonsense, I mean it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not what I meant. No, no, put the picket signs down. <laughs> You ready and to for clarification, Hyper, Gallif, and Recky have a very, very strong bromance. Yeah, polyamorous bromance. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, so I figured, ma make us whole. Look at that classic. Make us whole. Yo, the pulse rifle's putting in work on these guys. Hey. All right. Though that actually does kind of make sense, considering they are just like a swarm thing. So. Though, though, like, I, it is still hilarious. You can just flail and everything. Oh, by and... the way, I skipped the... All right, we didn't even pay attention to it, but in one of the games, somebody asked something about what happens if you eat necro necromorph flesh. There you have it. Dead Space 3 has your oh. answer. Oh. Wait, what? You turn into one of those. Oh. No, not this. This is... This is... Th those things you were just killing. Yeah. That's Marvin. Yo, I, I, I'm pretty sure the sniper rifle just one-shot that guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a bad idea to eat a necromorph. Who would have guessed? Oh, Why would you want to? Curb your enthusiasm theme. Uh, yeah. uh, well, the reason they did is because they're stuck on a snowy planet with no support because they are they were told that everybody has to die. Yeah, my guess was starvation. Yeah. 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 Okay. That makes sense. Oh, In the heart of the sea. Oh, death. You are what you eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quite literally. I don't know. I wonder if I would. I, I kind of wonder if I at that point I, whether I would actually like try it or if I would just be like, nah, I'll just die. 
Starving is a miserable way to go. I would find yeah. another way out. Take off your suit. Walk outside. True. Freezing to death doesn't sound great either. Go to sleep. Yeah, for, your body gets through a lot of pain in the freezing to death, but it's a lot quicker than starving to death. Yeah, yeah. Starving I, I, to I death mean, is a rough way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starving to death would be like not the it's, way to go. I it's, mean, it's yeah, slow. It takes death, forever. Yeah, like freezing to death would it be good by any means? But it, it's like. At some point, you do start feeling, so you got that going yeah. for you. I'm like starving yeah. to death where you just feel worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah, I remember listening to someone read the description of the uh, the whaling ship that was uh, based on, that uh, helped base the story for In the Heart of the Sea. It sounded awful. Uh, I had to see pictures of, of many things when I was in nursing school, but one of the things I had to see was the effects of starvation. So I can yeah. identify someone who wasn't getting new, enough nutrients. Uh, yes. oh, oh. And they just have me where the really, like, messed up thing was that, like, not knowing about my, like, genetic disease and it needing medicine and stuff, and so it was just uncontrolled. I was literally not getting nutrients despite eating, which is why things got so bad and I got so underweight. The moral of the story is, kids, eat, make sure you're eat, healthy. Eat your veggies. Yes. Eat your veggies. Please be healthy. Oh. No. Uh, shout out to the sniper rifle for letting me just absolutely decimate everything, by the way. Fantastic. <laughs> We're a fan of you, sniper Why rifle. do I have so many? There we go. Good lord. Well, there's... because this is not a survival horror game, this is an action game. So yeah, here's a bunch of stasis for you. It's great, thanks. Hey, here we go. Guess what you've always wanted? Nothing. I, I could say we could start using it more, but then again, do we really need to? Uh, not really. Stay. Well, well, you just wait. I'm waiting for a particular thing. Because uh, there is some really funny nonsense. Uh, I found maybe, some tungsten. Maybe I can actually find it already. I'm sure there are some useful points to use stasis, like like the tram, <laughs> waiting for the tram segment. Hmm. Uh, there is an attachment where your shots uh, apply stasis to enemies when you fire. And I'm waiting to get... Wow. Out. I'm waiting to unlock that because it is stupid. That is absurd. Yep, it is. Yeah. It is. It is stupid. Uh. Go forth, my little friend. Go forth, my son. Child, my child. Because you better believe I'm applying it to all of my weapons. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Why? Why wouldn't you? Why not? How's the pulse rifle work on you? Good. Look, way better than it should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, brute. This is an action game. Right. All of my guns, just my sniper rifle that I made as a secondary attachment, my pulse rifle I made as the primary attachment, do really well. The plasma cutter does really well. The ripper does really well. I don't have to play this game. You can cruise. With only the occasional death to set me back. Uh, especially, you know. it's, especially since it seems the sniper rifle just one-shots everything. Confirmed. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Wow. The only problem is that it only has three shots. 
more than enough to kill anything. More than enough to kill anything that moves. That moves. <laughs> for once, we found a weapon that works for. <laughs> That's great. I'm proud of us. I'm just not happy that I have to <laughs> that I have to use the fucking pulse rifle. <laughs> remember the when the plasma? Remember when the pulse rifle was like, yeah, this gun sucks. Hot Don't garbage. use it. Once upon a time, there was some logic behind these weapons. Once upon a time, I wasn't. Against a crafting system, I think the idea of like you're on a 200 year old the planet's been uninhabited for 200 years, you use your environment to build your weapons is kind of cruel. I just wish it was more segmented into weapons you recognize of Isaac like using his knowledge of existing tools to build tools he knows and not just yeah just slap a shotgun on a shotgun and do whatever. <laughs> Because in the room. For a moment, I was getting ready to just about have a breakdown. Because for a moment, it looks like we went from the Arctic straight into a desert. <laughs> Not and technically, I, the Arctic is a desert. I, I, I mean, but, but, but like, I, but, and, and I was just going to start going off like that's not how how like climate works but uh I would, I would love it if it was like yeah you're crafting the tools that you're familiar with out of like scrap and what's around you and they're really makeshift versions of what you know instead of the really sleek versions you used in the last two games and yeah, instead yeah. instead i'm just like shoving a shotgun on a shotgun and laughing about it that, yeah. uh, that would certainly make this game a lot better. Mm -hmm. So instead it becomes uh, craft the tools that you want to use out of what you find in your environment and that you know and love and maybe a few new ones because, you know, whatever. New video game. And not uh, LMAO Pulse Rifle kills everything. Ooh. Take that, Chad. And I'm like, I'm not against him building oh, a pulse is... rifle in and of itself. I'm sure he could do it. He's seen it before. I'm sure he knows the blueprints by this point. I'm just yeah. like... Just the implementation of this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, it's like I was also noticing those moments where, like, the ground didn't seem to be covered with snow, and I was kind of just going, huh? Yeah, yeah that, that that's not how... The, 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 you know... The way the lighting is, it looks like desert sand sometimes instead of snow. Oh no. That could be bad. Uh, are we gonna do one more after this? Because if we are, this is a perfect stop stopping point. If no I can do. One more? Okay. Uh, one more! Then we'll see everybody next time for more Why Are We Playing Dead Space 3? To more of this. This.